negative tension that is thrust while the rod can bear tension as well as thrust. Now let's see a solve example. Now we need to find the acceleration of the center of mass in the given pulley system. So first let's see the pulley system. So here we, uh, as you can see that uh, there are two masses attached with this pulley system. One is M1 and uh, other one is M2. So all the forces that is which are acting on these two masses are shown here. So if we take uh, the mass M1, a tension force T will be acting upwards and uh, its weight M1G will be acting downwards. Similarly on mass M2 the tension force T will be acting upwards and uh, its weight M2G will be acting downwards. So let's assume that the pulley is moving downwards in uh, anti-clockwise direction that is mass M1 is moving down and uh, mass M2 is moving up. So if we write the equation of forces for mass M1 since it is uh, moving downwards we can write that M1g minus T this is the net downward force acting on the mass M1 so this must be equal to M1 into A that is mass time acceleration similarly net upwards force acting on uh, mass M2 is uh, T minus M2g and uh, this will be equal to M2 into A. So by solving these two equations, that is equation 1 and equation 2, we can get the value of acceleration and uh, tension T. Now we need to find out the acceleration of center of mass. So we already have the value of A and uh, T. Now the if we take this both M1 and M2 as a system, the net force acting on this system is tension 2T and the weight that is M1 plus M2G. So the acceleration of the center of mass will be M1 plus M2G minus 2T is equal to M1 plus M2A where A is nothing but acceleration of center of mass that is AC. So from here we can get AC is equal to G minus 2T by M1 plus M2. Now we already have the value of T, so from this we can get the value of acceleration of center of mass. Now we'll see how to use thread constraint in solving problem based on pulley system. As we know that the total thread length remains constant in a pulley system. So what we do is we take a fixed point as a reference and we measure the length of various part of the thread with this reference point. Now the acceleration of different different objects which are connected to the thread are taken away from this reference point and the double differential of their displacements from the reference point gives their acceleration.